back everybody to more back to the future this is the last episode not the episode episode but episode of the game um, but yeah let's uh, finish it why didn't you wake me up I tried to give you a nudge before I left but you were practically comatose how long has it been since you slept aside from being knocked unconscious I'm not really sure anyway I left you back in the lab to perform an important mission on the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Is that good? Good? It's fantastic! Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn! What? It's Edna! But... Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. Jeez, Doc. Watch out. You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. So, how are the time circuits? Still broken. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So is that what I'm destined to build for the Expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And, and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc! It was science! Even if you screw up Emmett's chances at the Expo, there's no way he'll give up science now. He's too committed. You don't know me like I do. After he fails at the Expo, he'll be in need of comfort. And Edna's already arranged a romantic little trip up to the lake. You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the Expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Ender to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ah! What the hell? Where'd it go? Alright, uh... Why? Okay, I guess I can't go that way. Or that way. Or that way. 
Wow. Oh, come on! Here, little static thingy. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Gotcha! Is it just me or does it feel like I've always played in 720p and this is like the first time I'm playing in 720? I mean 1080. I don't know. The future is coming today. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two If you care to dream and dare to dream, your dreams can all come true There's a world of wondrous wonder on display Because the future is coming today Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her I found a loophole What kind of loophole? Just a loophole you're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future. No one claps. Ah, oh, what a great game. Hostel by, yeah. Algae cake! How about an algae cake? Sure thing, mister! Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! You're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice! Oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, buster! <laughs> oh, that's good. Enlightenment... Excuse me, Mr. Dudo, Jacques Dudo, at your service. Could I get a ride in that bathosphere? Certainement, if you've got a ticket. Jacques Dudo, famous diver. So you're some kind of celebrity? I do not like to brag, but uh, I have a small following, yeah. I guess people are always bugging you for autographs, huh? Asking you to tell them stories about your adventures and stuff. It gets a bit old, but I can always retreat to the depths. The fish are much less uh, uh, demanding. See you around. He's actually nice. Right, where's Brown? And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Crockett. Where's Emmett? What? Is he missing? Don't you recognize a ploy when you see one? Now, do your duty. Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. It was my plan to get him back to inventing what he should be inventing. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Sonny Crockett really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Sonny? 
Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. An anarchist! A foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo! Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. But she's been getting some clout in town, ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Mm. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well? I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better... Uh, where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh! You're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so, I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. Uh, I need hints. I really need to. Time to explore the expo. Be sure to pick up tickets from Trixie at the info booth, booth first. Still upset about Edna's meddlings? Get your mind off the troubles with the future furnishing exhibit. Blah blah blah. You might pick up something nice for yourself while you're there. How about a potted plant? Okay. Uh. Oh, she's there. Okay. Uh. Why no sprints? Hi, Trixie. That's techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now what can I do you for? You seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? Or something. Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. But you can't! Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. Eh, it kinda is. What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Let's see, eight kilobeats past fifty. We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, the Future Furnishings, and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself! Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How much are tickets? Aw, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. That's a lot of tickets. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Is there anything you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? I wish there was, but I'm just a muse. All we can do is inspire people. Okay, you're a muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well? Maybe it doesn't take effect right away. <laughs> Thanks. Happy to help.
Oh, please go faster. No one in here. What about this thing? Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. A fully equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? Oh, come on, that's an authentication. Of him. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tan and Speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. and you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. Okay, how do I do all this fast? Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification push up. Yeah. Oh. Nah. What? Why? What did I do? What did, what did I do? Thought of that. Okay, call me a snoop. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas. Unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, 
so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Yeah, what do I do now? Um... Wait, first I want to go first I want to go to this thing here. Enlightenment await. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea best to like me. I have a feeling I need to go. But it's probably not. Heavy. Monsieur has a way with words. <laughs> Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. Okay, let's go here. back into this. Welcome to the world of a push-up. I think it's this. In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be <laughs> replenished daily by fleets of oh fruit-bearing helicopters. <laughs> oh, that's such a good reference to Back to the Future 2. Ah, it's wax! Wow, that's just so good. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today! This is Checkney News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Maybe I should say some guy. This is Anthony. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Mr. Closeoff. Closeoff? Yes, first name Oliver. Oliver Closeoff? Listen, kid, I didn't just fall off the poutine truck. Who is this really? Hang up. Conversation terminated. Okay, I'll just say, uh, Sunny. Hill Valley. Hi, Trixie. It's me, Sonny. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I was just checking out this snazzy phone. Okay, bye. Bye. Conversation terminated. Ah, conversation. Right. Yeah. In the house of the future, phone conversation. Oh, experience. Yeah. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. <laughs> Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our uh, plan. Uh, about that plan. I seem to have momentarily lost track of Emmett. Do you have any idea where I might find him? You lost him? You were supposed to keep him distracted. Oh, I have been. He's just uh, wandered off. Well, go look for him. I've got my hands full with Parker. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? 
But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my pole with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration cancelled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are keeping him distracted, aren't you? Oh yes, I he's a very him. distractible young man. Oh, that's what I keep telling everyone. Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that? As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him exactly? You know, it! Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh... That was the Dodd's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away. And I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. Jeez, the speakeasy arsonist. Carl? Is somebody with you? No! It's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women, flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Oh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. I should hope too, so, anyway. Let's just deliver this to Parker and then... Next up on our roster, a man... And then, um... Thanks, Trixie. I'm really honored to be here today among all you pointy headed type people. Like the lady said, I labor in the field of corn scot. Algae, ladies and gentlemen, is a mysterious and little known biological you know, entity. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Of this noble vegetation, and I am here to present my discoveries to a disbelieving world. Uh, do it, keep up. Yeah, right. Okay. What I thought. Just in case I can do it yet. I'm casual. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? We're busy trying to protect the expo from the likes of you. This will only take a minute. Our plant recorder. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Listen. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. D Detective Parker, surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? You know, one of these days I should really stop falling for hey. that. Hey, does this mean that the barricades can come down from Emmett's booth? Let's take that as a yes. Emmett's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, come on. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very... interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon! Ah, I see. So because... Because Danny's going to be away... Um... That, that basically gives me more time... With Emmett here. Emmett's gonna fly his electrokinetic levitator, and he's gonna do it today. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.